Hey guys, Clover here. Welcome back to another raid video. I hope you're having a great Friday today. It seems that Plyum, after about three years, it's time, right? It's time. They, they found the time to invest into fixing a bug that exists since the launch of, I want to say Doom Tower. I'm not sure if this existed before, but there wasn't really a way to find it before the Doom Tower. But the bug that I'm talking about is the, the, the turn meter count kind of bug when you are either slept, stunned, or provoked, okay? If you guys don't know what I talk about, this will be the video, right? It's it's kind of funny, honestly, that they decide to do it now after three years. We knew that this existed, but it honestly didn't affect anything. But now that it might affect some whales who might get uh, overturned by players using provoke champion, provoked champions or something like that, they thought, okay, Let's change it up. So the Dragon Tournament that was about to launch in 15 hours was supposed to be the first ever tournament with a turn, um, a, a turn based kind of system for giving you points, right? They're changing it. It's going to be a normal one now until they fix it. So I'm guessing once the fix comes, we'll eventually get all the new tournaments with a different um, point breakdown and how the points are given out. So what do I talk about? What, what kind of bug do I mean, right? If you've never seen this before, guys, it's it's it it started with this one. It started with this boss right here, the Scarab King boss. And let me find the the more difficult one so I can show you guys. It started with the Scarab King boss where the the boss and the waves actually have a provoke in them. So instead of having 60 turns here to to beat down the boss, you would see teams here with th this amount of turns. Look at that. Turns taken to beat a boss, 5 turns taken. That is insane isn't it that is insane you might think okay you might have seen it before and thought how does this even work how does this even work well the way that it worked is that uh, these champions would be just smashing through the waves and then once they reach the boss the boss kills them but the boss has enough accuracy to be provoking euros right here every single time and when they provoke him the turn is not counted anymore so it wouldn't go to 60 turns for euros to actually do the same thing that I'm doing here, but my Euros has a little bit more resistance. I even moved him there from, from the leader slot so he doesn't give the um, the resistance. I should have placed my, my Trendas here, but um, that is that is the bug basically, okay? Th this worked here with the turns taken, and then this also worked with how you would be beating the Doom Tower waves, all right? So the Doom Tower waves, if you guys didn't know, also count the turns taken and the best teams shown here also show very little amount of turns and this is not only because this is like a, a blow them up kind of um team but there's teams that can actually get like one turn i think this is more usual in the normal doom tower right where it's easier to get provoked i believe and you would get a very low amount of turns uh, especially with something like a skull crown, you would use a skull crown. Skull crown with a retaliation set, you would counterattack a lot, and that's that's the way that you would kill them. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. They they they've taken the time to now fix this bug. I'm okay with that. I honestly think they should be addressing some other bugs that exist in the game. Um, there's multiple different bugs that I believe they should put their attention to and fix them, such as the one where when we have a two X on spider and we also have a cvc so look at that my lowest amount of turns is five turns there so when we have a cvc there's the super raid button here when you do a super raid the bug still exists where the super raid will not give you double the amount of points it only counts the run as one and not double the run so instead of getting i believe it's 600 points so two times 300 right uh, because you are doing spider heart 10 you're only getting half of it so we don't even run the, the super raids when we are running so many spider um, spider runs. So uh, that is one of the bugs that I can think of immediately that needs fixing. And the, the turns honestly don't, don't really matter, even on tournaments. They won't really matter since I believe the tournaments will be affected honestly by not how fast you do it, but again, by how much energy you have. So a player who has 1,000 energy, a player who has 2,000 energy, and they both can kill the dragon. I mean, unless the player with 2,000 energy has a team that takes 10 minutes to beat it, the player with 2,000 energy, most of the time, will be getting the top spot. 
that's how it works that's how the tournaments always work so i'm i'm not sure um on how much of a difference the turns are gonna do in terms of points but that's how i see it i'm not being negative it's just realistic right on how um all the tournaments are since forever even the tournaments where we had to use a specific kind of team to beat them again if you had more energy you would beat it um so it wouldn't really matter on on how fast your team or or anything was so i don't think this will be uh any different so if you have a better team and usually the wells also have the extremely extremely fast teams my team on dragon is not so bad it can do it in about 40 turns the bad the bad runs take like a minute that's when um something really bad happens and then acrisia is left on her own and she doesn't kill the boss that being said it's it's a good addition to the game other news regarding the game is we have a big champion training tournament going on right now i am not participating i could participate honestly it would have been extremely easy for me to get a big amount of points I, I don't even know if i have the champions to use all my chickens but for me this champion is 100 percent not worth it uh the tatsu champion i don't know if they'll introduce a new sort of content to make this champion worth it but we have a leader right here with 38k um and a person on the second slot with 28k these two will be battling it out in the three days to come I honestly don't envy them if it was something better like a void champion i would participate but for me a non-void champion who has like a sleep debuff applies debuffs but also um removes buffs and when he removes when she removes buffs she loses the power that she gets when enemies have buffs it's a contradicting um kind of skill set that this champion has and then let's have a look at the global leaderboard guys with 121k 110k already with the sin the Sin clan going crazy or this champion. I'm, I'm not sure what they're seeing. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm not seeing it. It's not very clear for me. But yeah, it, it is what it is. As I said, uh, Tatsu and Ho Tatsu is what we have now in the Shadow King. So Tatsu, I covered it in my video yesterday. Not so many people watched that video. So I'm going to kind of cover it again today if you guys uh, didn't watch the video yesterday. But this champion... It's supposed to be like a champion that helps counter a little bit those CFs and the Kymars that do the sleep in the arenas. But the problem with these kind of champions that fill a role of the attacker is that you run one attacker, right? And you can't really run them with enough accuracy for it to count, really count, especially in higher arenas where you will be seeing those CFs and the Kymars. And also the fact that the decrease resistance debuff exists it's again not helpful but because to apply the decrease resistance it would mean you have enough accuracy in the first place to apply it so unless you make it to be an unresistible effect the decrease resistance doesn't play much of a role for your other skills so this champion falls off i would say in terms of the usefulness and the worth it is it worth it kind of um kind of deal right is this champion really worth all that effort through champion training for me no same thing with loriaka no just waiting it out i am sure we'll have a july fusion or fragment collection and that will be something to consider maybe putting in your shards your energy and all that so just taking it uh relax there's multiple different games that i'm trying out right now i did a showcase for dragon air if you guys didn't see that like two days ago, posted a Dragonair video dedicated. It was a sponsorship, but I still play the game. And it's a hero collector game that is a bit different than Raid. There's no Raid killers at the moment in my radar. But that is one of the closest ones in terms of the graphics and the hero collector kind of aspect. And I know that the, the developers are really working for their global launch, the potential of the game. Um, so you can check it out or not. It's all up to you guys. This was the video for today, guys. Kind of a news roundup. Nothing too crazy, but but I really found that the turn meter kind of thing, the turn thing, not turn meter, turn, turns done thing for, for the tournaments that they're trying to fix. I found it funny, so I thought I'll cover it in a video, give you guys my thoughts on it. Thank you all for watching and supporting the channel so far. I appreciate all of you. I will see you in the next video. See ya.